Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Monday market outlook video, that's what we're doing today. We need to take a look through this week of Premier League team of the season, what it could bring, um, what it hasn't brought so far that we're looking forward to it bringing here uh, throughout the rest of this week. And of course, we're gonna be ending, by the end of the week, we'll be ending the team of the season Premier League uh, promo and we'll be heading into team of the season Bundesliga, which is actually confirmed to be the next league that will be coming out uh, team of the season wise, uh, which I think is pretty sweet. Those have been basically the most the two most hyped up leagues um, at you know during the year this year we've had the most special cards from the Bundesliga and the Premier League. A lot of people with you know those player of the month Royce cards since we've had player of the month from the Bundesliga this year, the Bundesliga has been pretty hyped. Um, and I'm excited for what kind of team this season cards we could see from the Bundesliga. But I want to take a look, and this video is going to be a lot of theorizing market trends and market movements throughout the week, especially for these cards right here, the Premier League team of the season cards that everybody wants to have in their team, that people want to have in their clubs, and that people want to pack from upgrade packs that we have not seen yet in the SBC section. Um, and it's tough, it really is tough because it seems like we're not getting much information or help or we're not being heard from EA because besides this Firmino SBC, which obviously is a bit pricey and some people think is just too expensive, for that card and the value that you get and the card that you get, I don't think it's actually that expensive. Um, but I would only complete that if we had the upgrade SBCs to help you know, cut down on some of the costs, packing some higher rated cards in those upgrades. Other than that, Firmino SBC, the Frazier, the Townsend, just haven't really done it for me um, during this promo because what else is there to do? Yes, we have a couple weekly objectives, but it just feels like we're getting lackluster content from the one of the biggest promos um, of all year in FIFA Ultimate Team. I mean, Team of the Season is huge 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 promo and it just seems like we're seeing a kind of a lack in the content but nevertheless that could turn around this week we could get league upgrade SBCs we could get um, Premier League tots guaranteed SBCs I mean I'm probably only speculating that we get one of those this week we only got one last week um, the card that I got today was actually um, from the I'll go show you guys the SBC that I completed it's like the cheapest guaranteed TOTS card SBC that we've ever had in the history of FIFA Ultimate Team. Only we, We've only had SBCs for a couple of years. Looks like FIFA's gonna freeze for me. That's fantastic. Um, but we'll go take a look at that SBC on the foot bin. Yeah, it costs you 7,000 coins to get the um, Saudi League TOTS Premier League SBC. Townsend costs you 158K. Um, you know, that's a decent card for a right mid in the Premier League, but it's just not what we're looking for. I mean, it is a nice card, but if you made that SBC 70k, I think a lot more people would be interested in it than it is right now at 158k. And Ryan Frazier at 200k, there's so many other left mids you can get in the Prem. Um, even though that's, you know, for stats, it's a cool card, but it's just the content has not been on point from EA during this promo so far, and it's it's really disappointing to see, at least in my opinion. And I hopefully they can turn it around here in the next couple of days. I really hope that they can turn around with SBCs. Um, even like a daily SBC, like a daily challenge. Um, you know, that would be that would be very nice to see. Now I wanna just show you this ultimate team here, the set of the team of the season players, just to kind of give you a notion of how much this has dropped. Before squad battle rewards came out, the price of this entire team on Xbox was 23 million coins. It is down to 19.8 million coins on the Xbox. That's a huge drop in price. A lot of these cards have dropped 5 to 10%. Ericsson all day yesterday was like 950. Now he was down to 850 at one point today after squad battle rewards. Fernandinho has been 430 all day. Hazard's been 29. Aguero's been 2 mil. Salah's been 2, 4, 2, 5. Um, a lot of these cards just dropped, you know, 5 to 10% today, which, you know, they kind of had done. At least last week we saw this, and I talked about this um, before when looking at trends from last year. A lot of times these cards did hit kind of their second, their first of their two low points during Team of the Season. 
uh, they hit those points on Sunday. So on that Sunday, when these cards are in packs, you know, we had squad battle rewards tonight compiled with the weekend league sell-off, and you saw a lot of these cards get cheaper on the market, and I went out and I actually stocked up on a bunch of them. Um, I have some Sun, some Agueros, just cards that I got for really good prices. I mean, I got all these Suns for around one nine. I bought one of them at two million earlier in the day. Um, but right now, Sun is sitting about uh, two two point oh five mil. I think he could really get boosted up with some hype. You know, people creating videos. I heard A Nine Skills is supposed to create a video on the Sun card, sitting at two million coins and thinking about how rare these cards are. Um, I could definitely see if that video comes out here in the next day or two, this card could really shoot up in price. I know you think that's crazy, I know it seems absurd, but you know, a big YouTuber releasing a video like that can really influence the market. So I think his card at 2 million coins could be going up in price after this A9 skills video comes out. Um, I might take the bite on this a little bit, but a lot of these I got at like 191915 um, was my two cheapest ones, so that was really nice. A couple of Gueros that I got at 1.8 flat, just making some quick flips. On that one, this one was at 18.08. I think I might be able to get 1.9 um, here in the next couple of days. Um, but you definitely want to have, if you're going to be flipping these team of the season cards, the prem cards that are in packs right now, you're going to want to get them out um, pretty soon because obviously Tuesday we're going to have the Premier League guaranteed SBC. And if we do get upgrades on Monday, today when this video goes live, if you see league upgrades come out or 81 plus packs, that's going to be something to watch as well because people might kind of go out, not I wouldn't say panic, but they might see that the upgrades are out and maybe go sell their cards because they think they're going to get packed. So you might see a little bit of the lowering of prices. That's a possibility um, uh, for today on Monday. If we do get the upgrades, ooh, that's a low price on money. That's probably going to get binned, but I don't think I can go ahead and resell that. So I'm going to let it, let it slide for now. Um, yeah, this is very, very interesting on some of these prices. Also, what's interesting is Mbappe won the League 1, La Ligue 1, Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year awards. He got both of those awards tonight, Sunday night, when I'm recording this. That's when he won those awards. That was an official um, award ceremony that they had. Tweeted it out. He won those awards. And in, obviously, we had the Premier League awards last week. Van Dyke and Sterling were winners. They got SBCs, you know, in the hours after those awards were finished. And last year we got Neymar and Mbappe for League One Player of the Year SBCs. Now we don't know if we're still going to get those, that they're just delayed. If EA, you know, there's been, I heard that there's a, a holiday going on right now in Canada. It's like a bank holiday or something. So I don't know if that is playing into it at all. If those guys are not in the office, we haven't had a lot of communication with the with the devs, you know, Corey and Zaro, we haven't had a lot of communication with them in the last couple of days, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, but I would keep your your hopes out, and I, I would like to say that we're still going to get that SBC. Maybe it's just delayed, but it seems like uh, we're just kind of getting snubbed for content right now, which is not a very good feeling, um, you know, especially for a time in the game when... Yes, EA wants to make money off of this promotion, but you know this is a lot of time in the game where they know people like us, traders, who are, yes, a small portion of the community, um, but this is a time in the game where people like to just finish off FIFA, to be honest, and just use everything that you've grinded to and that you've played with um, throughout the year. This is a great time where you can get the best cards in the game at low prices for the stats that you know compared to how this card like this Wijnaldum card right now is 300 and like 70 or 80k on the market I mean this card if you were to put this card out um, during like foot future stars this card would have been like six seven hundred thousand coins probably just because the hype of the game and everything that's going on in it but that's just what team of the season does it brings the market down at the end of the year you get the best cards to play with at the end of the year and, you know, it's a cash grab for EA as well. They can make money from selling packs. So it's a win-win for everybody. We get cool cards. They get to make money. And it just seems like we're kind of getting snubbed on the content, which is very unfortunate. And it honestly doesn't make sense. Um, I don't want to focus on that, though, too much because that's not really what I think the point is that I want to make. And I don't want to be about the negativity and everything like that. Um, I'm really trying to stay positive. Um, and that's why, you know, when I stay trading and when I'm in the market and stuff like that, it helps me stay more positive on this game. Um, but, 
you know, there are some things that are hard to just look past that we haven't got these league upgrade SBCs. You know, we have said that we have wanted them. Um, and I'm going to drop a bit on this Alexander Arnold because he was like 630K this entire weekend and now he's 515. But, um, you know, it just seems like we we're due some content. So this week, I do think we're going to get upgrades, repeatables in terms of when that comes. I don't know. My best guess would be today, Monday. I was hoping that it would be today, Monday. It's possible that, that would come Tuesday as well, maybe with the Premier League guaranteed league SBC. But if it's any later than today, you're going to see the FIFA community kind of go up in smoke, and there's going to be a lot of um, there's going to be a lot of bad remarks as there already have been um, for that. Um, but I do want to talk about that guaranteed Premier League. SBC. Now, one really handy thing that we can do is actually go over to Footbin, click on cheapest players by rating. We click into that. You know, it takes us to our spot here where we always look at the high rated golds, which are very high right now, by the way. Perfect timing if EA was going to drop a SBC for the main man Mbappe. These cards are very high. You could stock a lot of coins. Hopefully, you guys club stock because these are very high. They're going to stay high as long as we have SBCs out. Um, but if we go click on team of the season, apply filters, we can look at the cheapest tots cards in the game. And these have my eye for sure. 84 rated players at discard, 85 rated players, pretty close to discard. This one being a, a right back for 14 K that looks good to me. I don't think you can go wrong with going through here and picking up, um, basically pick up the, um, Saudi league. The cheapest Saudi League, just pick one up, throw it in your club, kind of like discard inform investing. Uh, but stay to the 83 rated and higher because for the guaranteed Premier League Tots SB, this SBC, I do think you're going to see um, some the rating be like an 84, somewhere between 84 and 86. I think would be the kind of the, the zone for what the rating could be on this guaranteed team of the season SBC. Um, and you could see a lot of these TOTS cards if they are required, if they, re they might require two TOTS. It might be an 84 rated squad with two TOTS and like one or two Premier League players or something like that. Um, that would cause these uh, these to rise a lot. If it's an 85 rated squad, you're going to have people that are going to be throwing in some of these cheaper team of seasons. I do think they would go up some. I mean, it might be an 86 rated squad with one team of the season requirement because you got to think, if you look at these team of the season cards, I mean, these cards are very expensive. If you take the average value out of this team, I'm guessing that the the SBC would have to be somewhere around like the 150, 150,000 coin range. Uh, because when you get to that range, you only have two cards that are underneath that value. Ederson's close, but Doherty and Madison. Madison. After that, you have Allison, Laporte, um, Wijnaldum. And then everything other than that and Fernandinho and everything else is like 500,000 coins or above. So that's where uh, I wasn't showing you guys that. I was looking through the team right here, talking through that. But that really makes me think that this SPC is going to be somewhere around the 150,000 coin range. I feel like that would be a fair amount for EA to put out for this SPC. Um, and it might seem like it's too much, but everybody is going to do that SPC. Um, so many people are going to want to do that because of the cards that are in team of the season. Obviously, we look and we see, you look at these cards and they're all of them are just so end game. Everybody wants them. And um, to get a chance to pack one of those cards, EA knows they're going to be able to get people to spend a lot of coins on that. So they're going to take advantage of that and they're going to put out a, a correctly priced, a high priced SBC. Um, but you know, if you plan ahead for that SBC, like we are now, like you can by picking up a couple tots cards, you can save yourself some coins because, uh, those, it's not going to be a cheap SBC. That's for sure. Especially when a lot of people are going to go to want to go out and to do, um, that SBC. So again, this week, I'm really hoping for upgrades. If we do get the upgrade packs, that's literally going to change my content for the entire week. We're going to have packs upon packs upon packs that's literally what we're going to have we'll still talk market we'll do all that kind of stuff um but when those packs come out the main focus of what i've been doing this year and grinding and trading one of my goals has been to be able to at the end of the year to just go out and open a ton of packs during premier league team of the season um you know like 10 millions worth of packs between the all the leagues 
just because that is fun, that is cool, and these cards are worth spending that much on because if I pack a couple of them, I'll be able to, especially since there's a lower league in packs as well, I'll be packing cards in tradable. I can go do Icon SBCs. I can pack some TOTS cards that even aren't very usable. Like even if I pack a Madison or a Doherty, I can throw that into an Icon SBC. And you're going to see that TOTS counter down below. You're going to see that thing hit some really, really high numbers. That's the plan. But in order for that to happen, we need to get those upgrade SBCs out first. Now, um, looking a little bit further down in the week, I do want to mention this. Um, rewards day is going to be a huge day. We're going to talk a lot more in depth about that coming later in the week. Um, but that's why if you're going to flip some team of the season players, um, if you're going to go from like Monday night or if you see them low on Monday, try to flip them into Tuesday before the guaranteed SBC comes out or even after Tuesday, after the guaranteed SBC is out. Um, be careful with that because people are going to know that rewards day on Friday or on Thursday is going to be huge. So there might be a lot of people who are going to sell a lot of their stuff before rewards because they're going to be prepared to make a team around whatever Premier League TOTS player they get from their player picks. You know, a lot of people grinded weekend league this weekend to get those high level picks. And you're going to see a lot of people want to incorporate these new cards into their team based on what they finished in the weekend league. So really watch that this weekend. Thursday is going to be a huge day on the market. It's going to be a great day for Thursday flipping. Basically, we need to focus on everything Premier League this week for flipping on rewards. So that means we need to watch other areas of the market earlier this week uh, or before because the, the lowest point for a lot of these cards, the link investments, for you know people that are going to pick get the player picks this week might be um the lowest earlier on in the week in a, in a sell-off because people are going to be trying cards all week and stuff like that again we do have weekly objectives that you can go for um i started working on them a little bit i haven't really done i haven't been able to make much progress i probably will just get declan rice i would like to get digne as well but um you know if he takes you two hours to do that and you need an 88 rated tots card for an sbc you can go buy onana for like i think 30 35k so if you really needed to if you're going to do one of those um weekly object objectives just to get the card for the rating and the tots card um you might as well just go out and buy this onana for 33k on bid um and go from there because that's a lot of grinding that it's going to take for a few of those cards but they are cool a digne is going to be a very linkable player at left back so if that interests you by all means go out and get it um that would be a cool card to have but again this week is going to be all about these players right here that are in packs all week um investing in them we'll watch them rise out of packs this week but the lowest point is definitely going to be thursday and we'll talk a lot more about that later here in the week for now though keep your hopes up and once we get these um upgradable the repeatable upgrade SBCs is literally going to change everything that people are doing on the game um and i i can almost promise you that because um people are going to be opening packs upon packs upon packs um and it's all going to be about packing the blue cards now whether you have a lot of coins or you don't have many coins um if you're not able to actually spend coins to go out and open packs like that i got you covered we'll be opening tons of packs um and possibly some weekend league rewards later this week as well um, on the channel. Haven't done a weekend league rewards video in a long time, so we might be able to do that this week as well. But again, watch those tots cards. I see that their prices going only one way, They're going maybe up a little bit into Tuesday and then down from there on out into the weekend. And then after rewards on Friday, I do think they will shoot up in price. Even though we might have a little bit of panic heading into Bundesliga tots, these cards are cards that are going to be used for the rest of the game in people's squads. So that's one thing that we need to keep our eyes on as well. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be there answering them for you guys. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.